water spider craft so I love chips I don't know if you guys love chips but I love chips I have made all different kinds of chips on here and one of my favorite gals on YouTube to watch is bigger boulder baking and um, I tried a few of her recipes and they have just been wonderful she brought out these kale chips and so I was dying to try them so I figured why not try that today it's been a little while since I've been on um, YouTube a little uh, for a little bit so I figured I'd come back on and and do this quick little tutorial uh, but I just went to the store and I bought me a big thing of kale big bunch um, I just washed it all so I just kind of letting it damp out you wanna if it's still real wet like in the middle it's still pretty pretty wet so I'm gonna get a paper towel or a napkin. I'm just going to kind of dry it off a little bit uh, because when you put it in the microwave you can hear it popping and you want to try to get it to where it's not so wet. Alright so I'm going to angle the camera down so you guys can see just how I'm going to do this. Maybe. Maybe I tightened it a little too much. No that wasn't the right one. Okay hang on just a second. Okay I got it. I hit the wrong button. Okay. So, I bought this big humongous bunch and I've made a couple of them already because I wanted to try this before, I want to make sure I did it right, so, which I did. It's absolutely delicious. Um, these have so much fiber in them, so, you know, if you need some fiber in your diet, it's great. No carbs. Woo! Okay. So, basically, all we're going to do is we're just going to start and just start pulling it off into chunks. That's it. Put it in your bowl. You don't want the stem. So you can just go right down the center of it and pull all that off and then just kind of pull it into chunks and throw it in your bowl. That's all I'm doing. Some of these you might put in half. You can leave them big if you want to. It's completely up to you. But I don't know if I would like this or not because um, and the, my one daughter's taking a nap, my son's doing his e-learning on school, online, and then my other daughter is with my sister, so she's usually the one that does all my taste testing and she's not here, so I had to do the taste testing first. But this is like simple, I mean, this is great if you want to healthy little snack at night or maybe you're gonna watch a movie or you know just cuz you're hungry I mean we're all stuck at home anyway so let's enjoy some food right okay so then what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna take now you can use olive oil but I have canola oil so that's what I'm gonna use I'm just gonna um, dribble this on here not too much and then I have some salt. And this is just regular table salt. I don't know. I just sprinkled it on. And then I'm just going to toss this out everywhere because that's what I do. I make a complete mess in the kitchen. I am absolutely 100% not a clean cook at all. I, um, I love to mess things up. All right, so my fingers are pretty oily, so that kind of tells me that I've got everything pretty well mixed up. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. Sorry, I like salt. Okay, now. Alright, so you're going to need to get a plate and some parchment paper. Now, I have these really pretty plates. Um, I used a smaller one earlier and I did two batches and my plate broke because it was so hot. So, if you have really fancy dishes, and I, I really don't think this is fancy, but you know, if you have really nice dishes, then you might switch your plates out or unless you have like a plastic plate you know, like a camping plate or something that you can use, uh, that might be better. But 
Um, I'm going to do a batch and then I'll just get a new plate and flip it out because I don't want to break my plates. Or I guess break anymore. So I laid my parchment paper out and I'm just going to take these and lay them out. I don't want them to touch. I have like a thing with food touching. Don't ask me why. Okay, it it, it just do. Ask my. I mean, you can ask my sister. Okay. So you can only do like small batches at a time and try to get them laid out as much as possible. All right. So I'm going to take these. Let me flip this over here. Okay. I'm going to put them in the microwave for three minutes. When I get that done, I'll meet you back here. Okay, so they kind of look like really shriveled up pieces of lettuce. I don't know why they look so horrible, but they're really good. Um, I did have to put these in for four minutes like my first batch. I don't know if because my microwave was like not hot and then it was really hot from doing this, but this took about four minutes and they're pretty crunchy. I mean, they're just really neat looking. And they're crunchy. And they're delicious, and I love them. And I'm going to keep eating them until, you know, I can't. I'm just tired of making them, I guess. So, no. Yeah. Cow chips. Woo. They are just really, really good. All right. Let's see if I can work my camera now. Yes, I can. Awesome. All right. So, you know, that's it. One little healthy snack. Yay for chips. I hope that you all have a very blessed day. Um... Thank you for watching. See you next time.